And we're back in the game with some more uh, Total War Rome Remastered, but with the Chivalry Total War mod, which is a mod set in the medieval period, using Total War Rome Remastered as a base. And we are playing as England, as you can see from the three lines there. Uh, this is episode two. Episode one did extremely well, uh, despite there being a delay in uploading due to not having any internet. Episode 1 has almost reached 100 uh, views. So far it's the fastest um, uh, video to reach 100. When it does reach 100 it will be, which will probably be in the next day or so. So this seems to be uh, being rather well received. So we might actually do another campaign in this mod. Uh, this mod has a lot of factions, many of which I'm not even familiar with. There's quite a few in Iberia and North Africa I'm not familiar with. So we might do one from there. Maybe a Muslim faction from North Africa. I'm not sure if there's a Crusades mechanic in this. Uh, actually, I should try to find out, shouldn't I? Uh, now, we've captured one rebel settlement. So we've got uh, 5,000 income. And I think we have two emissaries. Well, we've got one emissary at the moment. Emissaries are diplomats. He's going down the Dalmatian coastline. Uh, he'll probably run into Venetians and Byzantines somewhere along here. Maybe Croats if we went into somewhere around here. I think we met some Bosnians, didn't we? There should be some Bosnians up around here. Right, so don't think we're actually at war with any factions, regular factions at the moment. I forgot to turn my timer on, that's now on. Yeah, we're just at war with rebels, independent forces. Uh, we actually have four allies, uh, the Commune of Milan. Okay, didn't realise they had communes all the way back in the medieval period, but Maybe that's a different definition of a commune. Uh, we're allied to France because we're also Normans. And we're also allied to the Kingdom of Sicily because we're Normans. And we're allied to the Papal States, so that should help. Yeah, I don't see a crusade mechanic. Um, is there a cr crusade mechanic? I'll have to go and check on that. Because it would be fun to call a crusade. Um, right, we've got one ship. Ah, yes, there. We're getting a second emissary. I guess we're going to send him into Iberia or even to Eastern Europe. Right, what are you doing? I think you're going for retraining. Are we constructing everywhere? Let's cycle through. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, so let's go and end the turn. We'll probably go to war with the Welsh. They're amassing forces. Get over there. So we've now got an extra emissary. Let's get him moving. Alright. I mean, yeah, I think we will, because it's not going to take him long to get to Iberia, is it? Now, let's see who we can find over here. Aha! Byzantines at the uh, Terrakion. Good. That should be profitable to trade with the Byzantines. And yes, there's the um, voice lines from uh, Medieval 2. Ooh, that's very generous, and they are wealthy, but they have... They've got a lot of enemies. Uh, Petronex, which are a nomadic faction, similar to Mongols, I think. Similar. Don't get upset. Bulgaria, that's a powerful empire. We're facing the Bulgarians in our Zardom's Total War mod. Uh, Sicily, Dark Wolf Sicily, so no, we're not going to give them an alliance. We will sell them some map info. 
Maybe you can get a thousand for that. It seems we have reached an That's good. Now I don't know whether to continue over there. I think let's go and explore the rest of the Balkans. Right. Trade increase. Uh, Catholic Christian. No effects. Uh, recruitment. Emissary. That's the rebel settlement we just captured. I do not know how to pronounce that. I would, I would take a guess and say it's dinner for, or dinner for. Uh, you can actually change it if you want. You can change the name. Uh, where did I see how to do that? Uh, there's a button for clicking on and changing the name of it. Uh, yeah, it literally says change settlement name or something like that. Construction order manage. I'm not sure I, I would need to change the name, but there's definitely a button for it. Yeah, I know I've seen it somewhere. So, who do we have here? We have uh, a lord. Right. Is loyalty still a thing in this? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Let's throw in another building. Uh, let's get some. Well, that land ownership that doesn't increase your population. Uh, Fifteen hundred for this one. All positives. That has some negatives. We can get some archers. Do we have archers here? We already have archers, so we don't need those. I think. I'll go with that one. We're going to need some more troops. Do we retrain everyone? That's just an, I guess, armor upgrade or weapon upgrade. Looks like the Welsh have merged all their forces. Alright, noblemen and another nobleman. So, where are their leaders? Where are your leaders? Uh, we can only retrain him. That cavalry is expensive. We don't have particularly good units available just yet, do we? Yeah, literally. Light spearmen, peasant spearmen. We can get some uh, sergeants over here, but we need another ship. That's what we need. We need some of those sergeants. That's the heavy infantry. Yeah, we're very limited on our cavalry. The Welsh have some uh, better archers than we do. Yeah, I'm going to need to upgrade some military buildings somewhere. Right. Oh, they went north up into Lancashire. Uh, or is that? Uh, Cumbria, yes, Cumberland. Right, looks like they're going after that. Have they left an opening for us to invade them? We're already on low taxation. I'm not sure if we could actually reach them. We can reach, but that's going to upset our forces here. Yeah, I'm going to declare war on them. They're going to have to pull their troops back. And they can't reach it in one turn. They cannot. Right, I think we can actually get a couple of extra units out. Any mercenaries available? There is. Um, I need to fix the unit card there. Right.
new family member, war, riots and tans, oh, we've lost our treaty with the Papal States, alright, Winchester and Canterbury, we need better units, uh, spear militia, Basel men at arms, is that the spear unit? Norman men at arms, how can we get Norman men at arms? That's what we need. Norman men at arms. That's a bit expensive, but I'll go with that. That only takes one turn. Okay. So we might be able to claim uh, the capital with our faction leader and knock the Welsh out very quickly. I think uh, in episode one we looked and Scotland only has one province and Ireland only has one province. Or well, the actual factions do. Right. Can't see the Byzantine units. I'd like to see what they have. Considering our emissary is pretty darn close, we should have been able to. Right. It's going to be a bit anticlimactic, isn't it, if we just knock them out like that? Yeah, looks like they're heading for my settlement. Oh, close victory. All right. Um, that almost went against us. Yep, they've gone rebel. Okay, I'm just going to occupy them. Faction destroyed uh, Gwynedd and Paris. But that does leave a large rebel force out there, doesn't it? Fix those up. What's their religion? 100% Catholic. We're going to have to retrain all those heavy watchmen, heavy infantry. Let's get you in. Realm destroyed. And we have a marriage. Good, good, good. Right. Yep, there's Pisa. These are the Muslim factions I'm not familiar with, and I think both of those. I think that one's in Iberia. I'm not sure if that one is. I think that one's also in Iberia as well. But there are more out in North Africa. Right, we bumped into the docks, somebody's docks. We'll drop off our emissary. Start getting some trade going there. Ah, who's that? Byzantines at Belgrade. Okay. Let's find somewhere where we can upgrade some better units. Ah, here, we can already get Sergeant Infantry Men. They look like a spear unit. With just a very basic one. Not too bad, 450. Considering the difference in price between the next level. Yep. Anywhere else where we can get good units? Because we're going to need to take them out, I think. Looks like we need to get 6,000 population and a lot of settlements. Oh, 
I wonder if they will be aggressive. Just to be on the safe, uh, safe side, we will get another unit in there. How far can they reach? They could reach that one as well. And even up here. Any more units? Let's go for that one. I'm still not sure about the French. I think they may come after us at some point. But those roads are expensive. I mean, we've jumped up to 9,000 Nico. So maybe pay for them? We've got metal mines over here. They're also quite expensive. What are the roads going to do for us? 10% trade. Hmm. It may not be that cost effective. Yeah. Let me get some mines. Right, we should be able to pay for pretty much everything now that we're at 9,000 income. This is, I think we put it on very hard, didn't we? We seem to be making good money, even right at the uh, beginning of the campaign. So they didn't do anything. Alright. Let's build up an army and uh, try to take them out. Okay, 365 and a quarter days per year. Although not everyone still uses that. There are still a lot of different calendars in use around the world. Right, let's try to find the Bulgarians. Uh, Hungary, there's Hungary. Get you trading with Iberian factions. Who's that? The Kingdom of Leon. Okay, send your ship back. Might have a need for it somewhere. Cancel those. Hmm, makes of the law. Right. So those rebels have released. 11 units including three cavalry I think yeah we don't have very good units you know what we've got that ship coming up let's get one of those units over there in any case pay to upgrade those let's see if we can knock out those rebels yeah we don't have anywhere we can retrain those Not yet, at least. Oh, we could send those over as well, I guess. Uh, 
Let's drop them off over here. Okay, into the port and then drop them off. Okay, looks like they disappeared. We'll find them. Right, there they are. They don't. They don't have any enemies, do they? So, uh, they're not interested in that. What about map info? Oh yeah, that gave us a very good view of uh, most of northern Liberia. Right, let's talk to Hungary then. Okay. Yeah, they don't want an alliance. Maybe we have a really bad reputation now. We can make some money, but... No, we had good money. Okay, that also gave us a good view. And who's that? Holy Roman Empire. I think we've talked to them already. Yeah. No, oh, independent blacks. No, uh, Aunt Dracula's people. Alright. Shall we talk to the Venetians? I thought there was Croatians and Bosnians in here, but maybe I'm thinking of uh, Zardom Soda War. Alright. Is that the Poles? It is, Krakow. All right, we're going to talk to them. Richest Empire, that's us already. Good, good, good. Okay. Need to build up those forces as quickly as possible. I might extend this episode so we can get a battle in. As we missed a couple of days of uploading due to the fact that we didn't have internet. Looks like they are not interested in doing anything. Maybe rebels need to be made a little more aggressive. I think we are on very hard, very hard. Yeah, let's get them moving all the way up there. See who else we can find in Liberia. Right, that's one of the Muslim factions, the Taifa of Zaragoza. Oh, but there's a different one there as well, Taifa of Toledo. Right, let's talk to them first. Now, I'm not opposed to forming an alliance with a Muslim faction, but this one only has a lot of enemies. Um, I think we'll sell the map info on this one. Well, they're bankrupt. We might not get it. Yeah. In that case, let's try to trade it. They might reject it now. Oh, alright. Can we get around here? Next turn. Right. You can see their units, basic archers. Ooh, heavy uh, infantry. Looks like melee infantry there. Ah, Duchy of Bohemia. Let's go and talk to them. They don't get included in too many mods. But who knows, if we ever get a medieval 3 from Creative Assembly, maybe. Alright, we can get better units at Canterbury as well now, can't we? Ooh, look at them. 825, Vasil Arms, they're nice. Maybe Peasants, 400, there's also 400. Alright, well we're going to get some of them. They look nice with those shields. Right.
So we're down to 7,000, but it will go up. Right. Let's see if we have enough troops right now. We take all of these, get those, take both of them. Ah, they're going to take two turns. I didn't know it was that. Yeah, there it is. It does say two turns. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Hopefully they're worth the two turns. Right, those are also bankrupt, but I doubt if we'll get any money from them. Right, that looks about two thirds of Iberia that we can see. Let's come along the coastline. We've been blocked for some reason. Uh, maybe there's an army somewhere in between. Yeah, they don't want to move that way. Right, Bohemia. They're wealthy. We'll ask them for some money. Oh, foolish generosity, eh? That's the faction there. Right. Not very demanding, just demanding. And they have boundless wealth. Good for you, Poland. You can support the rest of the EU. Right. Now, who else are we going to go and talk to? Uh, have we talked to Denmark? Let's go up there. I'm not sure if Norway's in this or if Sweden are in. Denmark should definitely be in. Well, uh, or you'd expect them to be. More declared. Yeah, no, that's not uh, Denmark. I know it says Danish or Danish, but it's not. That's one of those factions I've never heard of. In fact, it doesn't even tell you the whole name from there. It's blocked, blocked, blocked. Blocked. Stop being blocked. Right, London, we can also get better units over here now. Ah, we can get them. Norman men at arms, 775, 825, but we want to replenish them and they only take one turn. So, also, hopefully, start moving them. Right. Do we have enough? We've got 16 units. Right. Next turn we'll sally out. I want to try and get a man of the hour event. Yeah, I missed the building, didn't I, somewhere? Right, um, let's put in there and boost your tax. Let's get a safe port for you. Everyone else is taken care of, right? Right, our money is going down a bit though. Uh, couldn't be all from uh, recruitment. Right, let's go and face them. 
That's a power of 50-50. We do have 750 more men. Right. Okay. Hmm. We got four archers, but two of them are very good. Three of them are very good. But we have a lot more archers. Let's go and fight them. See if we can get the Man of the Hour event. Uh, that's fairly common in um, Rome Total War, and even fairly common in Total War Rome Remastered. But we'll have to see how common it is in this. Right, it's a bit, uh, I guess, foggy, misty, misty morning. We could wait, but uh, let's not. Right, so our general is an archer unit. Yeah, we don't have plain arrows, do we? Yeah. Uh, no cavalry. Let's put our semi-decent spear units in the center. I guess on guard mode. And then we can put two each of those lighter ones on the flank. Just need to guard our archers mainly. We'll get all of those off of our skirmish. Because I think the enemy might still come towards us. They're on a bit of a slope and their archers probably have better range. Yeah, they are sending one of their generals. Nope, that's the mounted sergeants. Let's have a close-up of these units because we might not see too many of them. Look like they got fairly good armor on them. But your rebels, the rebel scum, it's got the eagle on them. Right. Well, I think they should have sent their archers forward first because we don't have any mobile units. We don't want to break up our formations. Oh, nope, here they come. Let's see if they're going to outrange us. Because now we have a slight advantage, I think. In range. Let's speed it up just a tad because this episode is already going over its limit. Oh yes, they have a lot better range, don't they? Right, we're going to have to come forward quite a bit. And we will have to go into skirmish mode. Well, we didn't take many casualties. Right. Luckily, their cavalry is only small units, isn't it? We are starting to fire back at them. Well, they actually pulled their cavalry back. I'm going to go and be aggressive with our spearmen. See if we can pin down their cavalry. Because I think uh, we can overwhelm them with our spearmen. Right. Yep, that general tried to sally forward. I think we're killing off more. You're not actually able to hit anyone. Oh, no, he routed both of those units out there, didn't he? Alright, we could be in trouble then. Yeah, that swung against us very quickly. All of our infantry broke. Alright. Well, we may have to fight them two times. Alright, that's my general. Try to rally somebody. Yeah, they did not stand up well. Alright, yeah, look at that, that really swung against us. We're losing a lot. Well, sad way to end the episode, but uh, look at that. 
Yeah, I actually thought we were doing quite well. But once we sallied forward with the uh, spearmen, we got beat pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. So we're going to need a lot better spearmen or melee infantry, aren't we? Alright, so we can retrain that unit. Uh, we've got one of those. We'll have to see how well they perform. Right. Let's retrain up while we can here. Uh, I mean, we can get those, but I don't think they're going to be particularly good. And these are going to take two turns. Uh, we've got lots of money. My income just went up. Right. Let's just check that we have construction everywhere. Everywhere except from the mainland. Right. Are there even any better units? Don't we have the third men? Maybe peasants? We three third. No, we don't. Let's get that. That gives access to another unit. Hmm. I want better armor. How can we get better armor? I don't see anything for improving the armor. My units. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would definitely help us out having better armor. I know we can raise the taxes, but we're doing very well on the income. So that's where we'll end this episode after I check the messages. War declared. Okay, I recognize that faction. Smith Spearmaker. You'd expect that to improve the armor, wouldn't you? Right. Maybe we just need to upgrade the settlement to do that. Well, we'll be back in episode 3 to try and take out these blasted rebels. I mean, we inflicted some damage and they won't be able to replenish, so we will wear them down. And we'll have some better infantry coming along. Uh, we'll see how well they perform. Right, thanks for watching. And remember, Resistance is never futile.